If you see big bubbles coming from the bottom, that means that the bottom is burning. Is that really what that means? Yeah, that's why he asked you. Oh, my name is Z, I'm from Hawaii, and I'm a professional dishwasher. Oh my god, thank you. I live with two girls. Yeah, the struggle's real. I don't want to eat this. <laughs> Beggars can't be choosers, so you're going to eat what I give you. It's pretty um, rough. Hi, I'm Dane. I'm from Laguna Beach, California, and I'm an analyst at a bank. Basically, I stare at Excel spreadsheets for eight hours a day. <laughs> <laughs> My nickname's Great Dane because I'm six foot six, but I'm just a big, lovable teddy bear, honestly. My name is Dijon. I live in beautiful Long Beach, California, and I'm a student studying psychology. Cooking's fun. It's one of the best pastimes I can have besides chicks. <laughs> Within five minutes, we will have our freaking munchies, dude. Right now, I'm living with about six women. Living with so many women in my house, they always treat me like I'm one of them. <laughs> you have 25 minutes to raid the kitchen and use whatever you can find to make us a delicious snack. Your ingredients are an old bowl of chips, Bloody Mary mix, bacon, eggs, plus a few little surprises. Put 25 minutes on the clock. Let's get this money, y'all. I'm thinking greasy. I'm seeing bacon and eggs. But also, I saw the pancake mix, so I mean, I have to do something with that. Ugh. All right. I'm seeing a bunch of weird ingredients in this kitchen. I definitely know that I'm going to use the egg and I'm going to use the bacon, only because when you're thinking hangover, you think egg and you think bacon. I am planning on making a egg pizza, but we don't have tomato sauce. So the next best thing is Bloody Mary juice. I'm gonna butter up the hot dog buns for the pizza, and then I'm gonna get some cheese mix, make it extra, extra cheesy. If you see big bubbles coming from the bottom, that means that the bottom is burning. Is that really what that means? Yeah, that's why he asked you. Oh. Wait, what? So pull it off, dude. Pull out, Z. I'm fucking screwed. Oh my god, 30 seconds, 30 seconds remaining. Your food must be finished and plated when time runs out. I'm putting a lot of hot sauce on this pizza and I don't know how spicy they like it. I'm a huge spicy person and I'm just gonna go all in. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands up. Z, come on up with that. You gotta show you this. <laughs> this beautiful dish, I call it the lover's breakfast. It's made out of heartfelt love. <laughs> there is sausages. I use the Bloody Mary mix, a little tomato into it. Eat up and enjoy. That's upsettingly delicious. <laughs> if I was hungover, I might finish it. Oh. I can take a lot of hot sauce, and that still was kind of the perfect amount, even in the middle. Jason's right, this is a crime, that this is delicious. I have no idea why this is delicious. You're like a magician. Kind of mushy for my liking. The bacon was a little underdone. For as long as you let the bottom of the egg go, that's what should have been the bacon. <laughs> okay, that's looking a little bit fancy for my liking. <laughs> this here is gonna be the Kicking California Combo Breakfast. A pancake that has a little bit of rum, and there's some bacon in there. Avocado mixed with Bloody Mary mix. Baby shrimp with maple syrup. The texture of the pancake is absolutely delightful. It's fluffy, it's light. I just need a little bit of salt on top. I think it would have been really, really nice. I like the creativity in it. I like the avocado. Just something's missing here for me. Salt. You can put shrimp in anything, and I'll automatically be like, winner. Um, this, though. <laughs> I knew that was coming. I knew. I just like, I love it. But... Like, I don't eat avocado. I don't eat eggs. But you took two things that I don't like and then added them with two things that I do like, and it came together nicely. It was really good. Already see onion rings, already excited. I call that dish drunken meat. I mean, I have the shrimp that are battered in rum. I have some eggs in there. I have some bacon in there. The flavors aren't all there for me. I'm sorry. It's OK. Thank you.
I gotta tell you, man, it is a sauce away from being very edible. It's just a little dry. This tastes like anything I would get at, let's say, a hamburger queen. <laughs> <laughs> Bacon with onion rings wins. Good job, man. The first person to be eliminated is... Dijon. Sorry, man. Sorry, Dijon. Nice try. I did my best. I came out here. I made these guys almost shit themselves. They know who the real Munchie King is. They know! You will each have 25 minutes to cook up your ultimate signature snack. Today's mystery Munchie is toaster pastries. I have never cooked with toasted pastries before, but I have bought them. I've just been too lazy to actually toast them. Put 25 minutes on the clock. Let's get this money, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I feel like these two should be wearing helmets. <laughs> I go and grab Cinnamon Toast Crunch, cream cheese, powdered sugar, the sweet rolls. My favorite flavor of all time, toaster pastry, is the brown sugar cinnamon. I'm thinking, all right, like a stuffed French toast would be bomb. I'm going for Hawaiian bread, the Nutella. Like, I'm trying to make this delicious dessert sandwich right now. 10 minutes, 10 minutes remaining. My dish is simple, but I'm hoping that it's simple yet effective. Wait, I cut myself. Can I get a medic? Cut yourself, Z? Yeah, dude. I'm cutting the Hawaiian bread into little tiny squares. I slice my finger. Oh, shit. I'm really bleeding. We got a serious injury here in Kitchen One. Blood's everywhere. It goes on my apron and stuff. I'm freaking out. That's what vodka's for, right? Five minutes remaining. Dane, how you feeling, man? It's pretty good. Things are going pretty well so far. There's no way I'm going to lose. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hands up. Step away from your kitchens. <laughs> Say goodbye to your middle finger. I'm looking at Dane's dish, and I look, I'm like, I'm in trouble. He made some crazy French toast. If I lose this, I'm going to blame it on my finger. Dane. Time to taste your dish. What do you call this? This is the Great Dane. <laughs> yes! Has to be, yes. has to be the Great Dane. It's a stuffed French toast. On the inside is a cinnamon cream cheese filling. And then on top, it's a brown sugar glaze and then whipped cream and some crunch on top for Chrissy. Not only is there nothing wrong with it, it's something that I feel like could change the world if given to enough people. <laughs> you nailed it, absolutely. Thank you. I'm gonna look at you when I do it. Does nothing for me. <laughs> I don't think Dane is interested. I'm gonna turn him, I told you. It makes me want him more. What if I do it? <laughs> 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 mm. Mm. It was... I'm speechless, man. It's really, it's really tasty. Um, <laughs> Congratulations. Nice Thank job. you. Oh, 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 oh. Tell us what you made for us. The left one is called blood, the middle one's called sweat, and the right one's called tears. And I used the main ingredient of the strawberry toaster pastries. And then my finishing touch was a little whipped cream for the artistic and the chocolate. And then I put the banana on top. <laughs> I actually thought it was gonna be too much. I really did, I was gonna be like, oh my God, here comes a ton of sugar, which it is, but Z, you done well, kid. Honestly, it's really good to me. <laughs> There's no major flaw in any, in any sense of it. Like, uh, I haven't had a toaster pastry in probably 10 years, but it was like a nice go back to it. I think you chose the right flavor. And today, the Snack Off champion is... The Great Dane.